earlier with the pseudoers file. There is a practical way to use this. Let's clear this out, and then we're going to go back to that idea. All right? Because you can still pump all that information into a file. You can use all of these different um, different commands to accomplish a goal. Now, let's say, for instance, I wanted to take that take a pseudoers file, and I wanted to add a uh, a user. All right, um, to a file. Well, we we covered echo a little while ago with the double um, greater than signs to add information. We covered the single to overwrite information. Now, just so we're all on the same page, let's open this back up. This is what's in here right now. We don't want this in here. If, if as an example, if we're writing a, a new program, you know, as, as an example, like um, if, if I wanted to, to, to write it and then save this as my new pseudoers file, then I don't want that in here. So the very first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to overwrite it so it gets rid of everything else, right? And the, if you remember your pseudoers file, the only thing in it of use, as far as I can tell, now I didn't go through it a lot. You know what? I'm not even going to do this. Um, I didn't go through it a lot, but I did go through it enough to... Uh, the, only, the only thing I noticed in there that was not commented, that was actually usable, was the one line that defined root. Now, it looked like this. If you remember, root all equals all space all. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it looks like um, for the root definitions. And every time you add a user, well, if you want a user that has, that you can put their, their password in um, to be able to, to function as root, you know, your pseudo um, password, then you have to add entries exactly like this, only you have to change the word root to whatever the username is. That's kind of what we're going to do right now, just for, for grins, to show you kind of a, a practical application of what we just covered, okay? Um, now, what I want to do is, is this is the information that, that needs to be in there, because you always, in, especially in the pseudoers file, man, you have to have a root um, definition. Um, or the, the privileges for root has to be defined. And that's what it is. It's already in there. But because we've got that, you know, that other, that line, that erase line in there, we want to take it out. So I'm going to use a single, if you recall that from earlier in the video, I'm going to use a single greater than sign to overwrite it. So that'll get rid of that other line. And I want to put it into test txt. Okay? You remember how to do this, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through it. So if we nano over to test txt, you can see now that that's what's in here. Okay? Should look very familiar to you. Now, if I wanted to add another user, and let's say let's say I'm writing a program for other people to use, they get to they get to say what the name of that user is going to be. I'm not going to define it for them. They have to define it. So now I need to ask for that input, just like we did with um, the last examples we went through with the numbers. Okay? Only this time we're not going to ask, we're not going to have them put in numbers. We're going to have them put in a name. So let's let's start that off by saying echo, and let's ask them for a username. How about what is the new user name? Okay. Now it's going to ask that first. Then we have to get the information from them. So we'll use read, and we have to save that as a we have to save that value into a variable that we can use elsewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to call it let's call it new name. Okay. And again, a variable can be almost anything you want. There's certain words you can't use. And you'll, you'll kind of figure that out as, as you go along, but um, let's call it new name. Okay, so now what we've done so far is we've, we've asked for the information, we've now gotten it and saved it into a variable. How are we going to use that variable? Well, just like we did with um, this input right here, the only difference is we now have what we need to change out root, right? Because we just needed a new name. Everything else has got to be the same. So... We just echo, 
and what we're going to do is we're going to write it to it. Now, the very first line is our variable, right? Because that's the new name. But everything else is going to be the same. All equals all, I'm sorry, all like that, right? And it's got to look exactly the same. Now, now this will print it. We have to tell it to print it to the file. But remember, we don't want to overwrite it because we, in there right now, we have the root um, entry in there right now. We don't want to overwrite it. We want to add to it. So we're going to use two greater than signs, right? And then we're going to put it into test.txt, that same file that we saved this one to. So if I hit enter now, um, it'll ask me, and I'll walk you through this one more time, it'll ask me for the username, I'll have to type it in, and then when I hit enter, it will actually put this information with the name that I typed in right here into this file, and it will add it to this file. Follow that? So let's do it real quick. Enter. What is the new username? I'm going to call me, because I'm me, JT. That's what, that's what I want my new user to be. I hit enter, and then I get my command prompt, which means that the script finished. Okay? It didn't get an error or anything. So let's go in and let's look at it now. How about that? We not only have our root um, privilege information, but we also now have one for a user named JT with the same user privilege information. Now, th this is powerful. I mean, if, if we wanted to do it again, we could do it again and use a different name. And it will add yet another name. So let's say I want to add Kian. Okay? Happens to be my nephew, by the way. Um, but let's say that's the new name I want, I want to give permissions to. I hit Enter. Now we go back and we look at it again, and now you've got Ruser, or you got root, you got JT, and now you have Kian also. You see how this is see how this is very useful? Okay, variables, very, very, very nice um, thing to know how to use. Okay? Um, do it again, because I, I don't want to leave out my niece. So this time I'm gonna put in Kira. That's my niece. Hit enter. Um, I'm, now I'm going to run it again, and I'm going to put in Caden. Because I don't want to leave anyone out. Um, Callie. And Connor. Those are my nieces and nephews. <laughs> so, but now that those, I, I've now entered, um, Usernames for all all of my nieces and nephews now. So if we go in here, we open it up. You see how it added each of them. So they're all in this file now. Okay. So hopefully that's kind of shown you a practical application of how you can use these commands and use them together in order to accomplish a goal. Um, this is something that would be very easy to use. I plan on actually using this in my installation instructions. I'll include it with my uh, with my distribution so that it'll walk you right through it. I'll even have it ask you, do you want to you know, do you want to add a user at this point? Say yes, and then it'll walk you through the process of doing this. It'll automate this process, and then on top of that, it'll you know it'll prompt you for you know setting the password form too. I mean, there's things you can do um, with these very basic um, commands that that will make life a lot easier for you. You can automate a lot of things and make things a lot better, um, or at least easier, you know, more user friendly. Um, and it might save your fingers because then you don't have to quite, you know, type quite so much like this. I mean, can you imagine having to type, you know, all this out every time, you know, for each person, you don't have to, if you write this little script, then all you do is you just type in the name and it puts it in automatically for you. Now this comes in really, really handy when you have a lot of information to put in there that is all going to be the same or that will use other variables as well. So, I mean, it's it's very, very useful. I, I, I'm going to let you try to use your imagination a little bit. Um, let this sink in. Watch the video over and over again. Get these basics down so that um, you really understand how it works because once you do, it'll start. things will start coming to you on how you can make this work for you. And that's, that's the important thing. 
in the next video, I'm going to cover a couple other things. Uh, I, what I want to do is I want to cover the, the wild command. Um, I'm also going to want to cover the cat command um, because this is all in preparation of uh, going through this happy script that I wrote out. This thing's a beast. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the process that I went through in creating this um, because it was a process. You, what you do is you start with small things that work and then you build on top of them um, until you get, you know, a, well, you'll end up with something like this if it's, if it's you know, going to do a lot of different things, which this one does. Um, but you'll, you'll get to this point, but essentially you'll run it and it will do it all. Um, which is really, really, really neat. I am so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm tickled pink because this thing's doing exactly what I want it to do. And I will cover that in another video. Um, keep tuning back. Hey, do me a big favor. If, if what I've shown you here is something that has been, you've, you found helpful, informational, um, you learned something from it, or at least gave you an idea, or you liked it, please like the video and please subscribe and keep coming back. I'll be putting up videos often. And, you know, I really, I really hope to have a pretty good base um, for when the time comes that I actually put out my, my custom distribution of Arch Linux with KDE. You know, I want to have a group of people that I can say, hey, it's ready. You know, here it is. Go ahead and try it out. And basically every video in here, you'll be able to, it, it will apply directly to you because you're going to have the same setup that I have right now. So, in any case... With that, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for future videos, and we'll see you soon.